Yes, I'm the healer. What do you need? Oh my goodness, yes, bring them in. Lay them out here. Be careful of their head. That's perfect. Now step back. Let me examine them. What happened? A troll. Oh, yes, I heard someone had picked up the contract. Any poison involved? No? Good. That makes my job easier. Nasty head wound. How long have they been unconscious? A quarter of an hour? All right. Small cuts all over the torso and arm. Mangled forearm and... No, nothing I can't handle. Are there any other injuries among you? Just minor ones. Good. Find yourselves a room at the inn while I work on your friend. Do you see the small satchels beside the door? Take one with you. It contains everything you should need to help with those scrapes and cuts, and a few healing tonics, too. I know you want to stay here with them, but I need space to work. I'm afraid I must ask you all to leave immediately. Please trust me to do my job. I'll send word the moment I'm done, I swear it. Thank you. All right, my unconscious friend. A tonic to put you into a deeper, more peaceful sleep so you won't wake up while I'm putting you back together again. There. Hold on. I know you're standing at death's door. I know your neck is broken, but I can fix it, I promise. Just hold on a little bit longer. Eshe es vareth seleseya, nai le hele et hesim shreya, shurth un sesh nathel fly. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Where are you? <laughs> You're back in Riverton. Your friends are at the inn nearby. They brought you to me, half dead. Who am I? I'm the village healer. My name is Gwen. What happened? Well, what's the last thing you remember? You recall plunging your sword into the heart of a massive troll. Yes, that did happen, if your companions told the truth. Do you remember anything else? No? Well, according to your friends, you struck the killing blow despite your shredded arm, and then the troll used its final moments to grab you, shake you like a rag doll, and throw you into a tree trunk with no small amount of force. They weren't sure if they were going to get you to me in time. What are you doing? Getting up? No, no, no. I insist that you stay in bed for now. 
How do you feel? Hmm, I thought so. Let me prop you up, then I'll get you something to help take the edge off. Take my arm. I'm going to reach around behind you. Put another pillow there. All right, settle back. There. Just a moment. Here, an infusion of willow bark and chamomile and a bit of honey. Yes, there is blood everywhere. In fact, all of it is yours. Once I got you healed, I moved you to this bed and set about making the tonics and ointments you'd need to recover. I hadn't quite gotten around to cleaning my operation table. How bad was it? You want the truth? You were very near death when you were brought to me. The first thing I addressed was your head wound. You have a bad concussion. It was bleeding profusely. But I stopped the bleeding and I put on a poultice to prevent infection. Your arm was... Well, I haven't seen a limb that mangled since the war. I reset the broken wrist, cleaned up those deep slices on your hand, and stitched everything back together. Oh, please don't take the bandage off. We'll address that in a bit. We'll need to change it daily, and I'll show you how to do some exercises so you regain full use of the hand. You will have some scarring, though. You don't mind. <laughs> Based on the other scars on you, I imagine not. It certainly looks like you lead an exciting life, Lionheart. <clears throat> As for the rest of my diagnosis, you have badly bruised ribs, and I'm afraid there's nothing to do about that but rest and take it easy. What do you mean you thought it would be worse? You heard me whisper something about your neck being broken. No, your neck was never broken. I doubt you would have survived if it had been. You heard an incantation. And felt a warm, tingling sensation. Magic? Certainly not. I'm afraid I don't have that particular talent. I gave you a very powerful sleeping tonic. It was meant to keep you from waking up while I was working on you, but it can occasionally cause very vivid and strange dreams. It's likely that's why you believe you felt magic healing you. If those dreams caused you distress, I apologize. You're wincing. Do your ribs hurt that much? I have a balm that will help with that. Let me see... Ah, here it is. May I lift your shirt a bit to apply this? Thank you. I must say, I'm rather impressed that your party managed to solve our troll problem. Thank you for dealing with that. Oh, yes. <laughs> the damned thing has been plaguing us for ages now. No one has been able to go into the forest alone in months. We're rather lucky it's only carried off livestock and not children. There you go. That should start feeling better. Am I from here? No, I'm afraid not. 
I've only been here for two years. Where am I from? Oh, here and there. I've uh, traveled a lot and haven't really settled down anywhere long term. Hmm? Oh, right. I did mention the war, didn't I? Um, I was a healer on the front. Was I drafted? No, I, uh, I volunteered. Have you finished your tea? Good, I'll take that for you. You should get some more rest. I'll send word to your companions that you woke up and we'll be able to leave sometime tomorrow. Yes. I will want you to stay close by for a couple of weeks so that I can check in on you and change your bandages, but you can get a room at the inn or set up camp on the outskirts of the village. Of course. You're most welcome. Are you comfortable? Good. Call for me if you need me. Otherwise, rest well. <laughs>